Hi folks, this is a quick video to show you how you can add RSS feeds um, for various information onto your WordPress blog. Um, we're going to do this by showing you how to add comments about your local hospital um, onto, your, onto your WordPress sidebar. So what we've got here is we've got the standard WordPress blog. I'm just going to go to the NHS Choices website, which is at nhs.uk. I'm going to scroll down and search for our hospital. So, it's hospital in Nitchfield. We're going to do. Okay, so you can see we've got Samuel Johnson Community Hospital, and here we've got a little, a little bit about comments. So, we're going to click on this link to actually read those comments. Here you can see the comments. Um, you know we've got ratings and, and actually um, a whole bunch of um, feedback. I've also got this link here. It says subscribe to these comments. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on this and we're going to copy that that link. Um, this might be something different in your browser. It might be um, copy link location, um, copy target, something like that. So just going to click on that. And now we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard. Um, and we need to add the widget um, for this, so we're going to go into appearance and widgets. Now, as standard with WordPress, um, to know which version of WordPress you're using, um, you should have <coughs> this RSS widget here. So we're just going to drag that to our sidebar, like so. Um, and we'll ask for a RSS feed URL here, so this is where we paste in our NHS choices feed. And we're going to give it a title, so we're going to call it Comments about Samuel Community Hospital. Um, I'm going to show 10 items. Um, actually, I think I'll reduce that to 5 because we know there's only 5 comments on that hospital, as we saw earlier. Um, I'm not going to display, uh, we'll display the item content. Um, that should um, show us a bit of the actual review itself. Um, we won't bother with the author or the date, um, it might make it a bit cluttered. Um, so we're just going to save those options, return to our blog and refresh. And you can see now that we've got um, a bunch of comments. So basically what we've got here is um, the, actual, the actual title of each uh, comment is the person who's added it. Um, and you can see that they've got their virtual comments in there as part of the content. Um, and this is what's being provided by NHS choices themselves um, and we can click through to this and it will take us straight through to that individual um, feedback. Now you can do this with all sorts of information um, you might find that your local council has an RSS feed or an Atom feed um, and so what you can do is you can do the same with that you can, you can copy um, that feed URL um, into the RSS widget that you saw earlier. Um, you just paste that into here um, and obviously change the options according, according to how you want it to display. Um, there's lots of information out there that's provided in RSS. There's some sites that don't provide anything in RSS so you have to email them and tell them to provide you with that information in RSS. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to provide lots of useful information to your readers by doing so. Okay, so there we go. If you've got any uh, any comments, any questions, anything like that, do let me know.